Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Hello, and welcome to C4x4.com. Today we wanted to give you an overview on what we did to get our Project Vulture ready for the Unlimited Off-Road Expo here in Texas. Now, we had a lot to get done, and we needed some help. So we headed down to Dallas to see our friends over at Bear Tracks. sort of social media pages these days, it's funny to see what people think are the best products and which are the worst products. Well, how do they know what's the best product or the worst product for your Jeep and your budget? Well, like most of us, we all do some research, we find the products that we think we're going to like, we buy them, and we run them. And that's the case with this 97 Jeep Wrangler behind me. A lot of the products we've had on here since almost the beginning of C4 by far, which is over 15 years old now. And these products, we know we can trust, and we know we can trust the companies. This TJ is running a six inch Skyjacker Rock Ready Long Arm Kit. And the only issue we've ever had were heim joints going bad, but that's why heim joints are rebuildable. Not long after putting the lift on the TJ, we upgraded the drive shafts to JE Real Drive Shafts and have never had an issue. We haven't even replaced a U joint. We re-gear the Jeep using Yukon gears, threw a full Detroit locker in the rear axle, and an ARB up front. This allowed us to move up the 35-inch tires. We've run several tires over the years, but we have landed on the BFG KM2s because we like the way they look, we like the way they ride, and they work awesome. And all of these products made for one very capable Jeep. I like to call this Jeep my point and shoot Jeep. Just point it where you want it to go and it'll get you there. So we wanted to see if we could take that kind of performance and wrap it into our Project Vulture. Our Project Vulture is a 2010 JKU that has been painted in a John Deere tractor paint called Blitz Black. For the build, we've added a 4 inch Skyjacker long arm kit, upgraded the drive shaft to some new JE Real drive shafts just like the TJ. In order for us to upgrade our tires, we added 488 Yukon gears front and rear that included a Yukon zip locker, which is an air actuated locker in the rear of the Jeep. We've left the front open for now because it's Dana 30 and we haven't decided what direction we're gonna go with this axle. Because we love the BFG KM2s on our TJ, we added a set of 37s to Vulture. However, instead of going with a cheap set of wheels like we did on the TJ, we added a set of these awesome Raceline Monster Bead Locks. And as part of this build, Skyjacker invited us to join them in their booth over at the Texas Motor Speedway for the Unlimited Off-Road Show. So stick around, read some of the additional comments that we have below on the products that we installed in Project Vulture. Then once you're done, head over to our articles page and check out the Unlimited Off-Road Show. Then make sure you stick around and check us out next month as we head down to the Jeep Jamboree and test all these products out.